Hey guys, it's Doobie Chili, and it do be Pantrio. In this video, we're gonna be yeah, we're gonna be upgrading our developer experience, pretty good and uh, pretty 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 good. So first things first, I want to be able to debug my PHP. I can't do that right now. Let's get on that. So the thing that you need to debug is a little bit of an extension for PHP called xdebug. And uh, we have that installed, uh, that exists for us, but we have to set up our IDE in order to trigger xdebug to be started and in order to connect to it. And it's connected, it's on our remote machine, right, on our thing, so it's, there's a little bit of a trickiness involved with that. Uh, I've done this setup mm, quite a few times now, so it, sh it shouldn't be too, too complicated, but nah, I don't know, I'm probably going to have trouble with it uh so i uh, php remote debug so i always do this filter debug connection by ide key here and you, there may be many ways of setting this up but this is the way that that works for me so we need to first define a new remote server and we'll call this one we'll just call it vagrant i don't know host so this is probably important panterio yes okay use path mapping select if server is remote it is remote um okay so we want to map files in maybe here map this to where on our server well i forget i forgot um but i think it's probably like var www and then maybe it's html and then maybe it's pantrio but like i said i forget so cd pantrio yeah okay so yeah this should be the mapping this thing on our server should map to this folder on my Windows machine. Good. Shared? I don't know what that does. No, don't, don't, don't click it. Maybe click it? No, don't click it. Yes, click it. Apply. I think it's shared, right? We're using a shared folder onto a remote machine. It seems fine. Uh, okay, so we set this up. Okay, now I want to go to my... Can I, can I open up another window from this window? I cannot. Apply. Okay. Close. I want to go to my xdebug setup in my IDE. No, not xdebug cloud. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, so my debug port is 9,000. Over 9,000. No, exactly 9,000. This has to match the setting in our PHP configuration. Configuration. Um... Okay, do I have a web route? Web. Web. No. Okay. Did I did I disable all the web routes? I hope I didn't do that, because that, that would be a little dumb, a little premature, wouldn't it? Let's add a web route and see if I disabled it. It's faster than trying to remember where that stuff is hooked up into. So, what is my web route? How do I do routes again? Route. Right. Route. Get. Uh, so we can just put a, uh, a closure in here. And, but no, we have to put the name of the route and then the closure is the implementation. So let's do that. Name of the route is info. And here, php info. So if you run the php info function like this, you access it from a web route, you'll get a page that just shows all of your configuration. And it's very nice. I might have shown that before, I can't remember. But, Pantrio info. Not found, okay. So, probably not processing this web.php. That's fine. Let me just take a second and look for where the thing is. So yeah, it's in route service provider. And yeah, you can see I commented out the um, the one that processes our web thing, web.php. 
So, namespace, namespace, sure. This is an API prefix view. So this one has no prefix. So everything should be good now. If I try to access this. Uh, target class web does not exist. Yeah, here in kernel.php we have the uh, middleware groups and I just gotta put my web middleware back into commission. And let's try it again. Here we go. So we got PHP version 8.0.1. That is what we have. That is what we expect. Let's find XD. Hmm. Oh, here it's down here. XD bug. Okay. Uh, I like Chrome better. I like it because it shows you like the little things and the. You know what I mean? I like Chrome better. But anyways, yeah. So XD bug version three. We got the we got the new hotness for better or for worse. New hotness means that the uh, all the settings that I know and remember they are now they don't work anymore. So this will be fun. I've done this once before though. Uh, but yeah, you see setting removed, setting renamed in Xdebug three. A lot of that, which means I. But here we go. Xdebug client port is set to nine thousand three. So that is the first. Thing that I definitely wanted to make sure about. Alright, so, uh, remote debug. Now, let's go to xdebug setup here, put it to 9003. Yes, apply, okay, so, we have now made that match what is on our remote system. Vagrant, IDE session key, PHP storm. Install Xdebug, yes. Now, there's a little cool thing in PHP Storm that allows us to validate our setup. So, path to create validation script. So we want to put that script into public. No, more, more deeper. More deeper. Um, deeper. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Public. Here we go. So you put that script into public. That should be accessible from the outside world. And it will be validated from here, maybe. Validate. All right. Server name, Pancho. Yes. Xdebugger extension. Remote host is configured as localhost, despite the server host is probably not local. Uh, xdebug dot client host to our IP address. So that's the number one thing we got to change. This is pretty, this is like really cool because it just, it diagnoses your setup and tells you what you need to change and it saves you a lot of time. I love this thing about PHP storm. Uh, remote debug is not enabled. So we need to change these two settings in our PHP. How? Houseway. Probably shouldn't have closed that window because that's gonna but I need to close that window to look into my code so we're just gonna have to live with it first let's figure out where is the stuff that we want to change um and that's a good question right that's the many many people are asking this question so it's not really not in here it's probably in here so we got our engine X configuration but we want to change our configuration for PHP. Uh, so what we need to do is when we set up our machine, uh, we would like it to give us, we would like it to overwrite the INI files. So, Chile. ETC, PHP, so far so good, CD 8.0, alright, so, I am using Nginx, so I'm using FPM, so FPM is the, uh, the configuration for when PHP is executed, basically from the web, CLI is the configuration for when it's executed, like when you do PHP, artisan or something like that 
So yeah, you can have separate configurations for those two scenarios. Uh, so first of all, for Xdebug, I mean, in, eventually you're going to want to be able to use it for both. But right now, what we really want is we want to be able to uh, use it for FPM. So uh, my, my microphone is very slowly rising up and it's it's not good. Okay, so copy php.ini to to where tilde slash pantrio. Yeah, good. So that should put it in here somewhere. In here somewhere. It's not in here somewhere. Dude. Is there a way I can refresh this? Can I please uh, reload from disk? There you go. There you go. I just had to prod them and poke them a little bit. You dumb ID. This is not why my employer pays so much money for you. You dumb ID. Okay. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I'm just going to put a section here that's called xdebug. And, and that might be unnecessary. It might also be bad. But if it's not bad, then it'll be it'll be uh, good for good for morale. It's probably not what I meant to say, but when I, when I don't find the words, I just use other words that feel good. They might not actually make sense in the context. Okay, so let's try this again because I forgot what it was telling me. Okay, so it wants xdebug client host. Let me just copy all this. And the xdebug mode is debug. So we can do that, right? And cancel. Mm, okay, cancel. Yeah. And then xdebug dot mode debug. Ha, I remembered it. And host is equal to, yes. Okay, so this might work. We need to change our Role here. Know your role and shut your mouth is I believe uh, I believe how that works So where do we we install nginx We install p p the p hatch paw fpm, okay, so here I probably want to um I want to copy my config All right name Configure PHP. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, now I get it. I understand. I include role nginx, and then all right, it's starting to come back to me. It's early in the morning for me, and by early in the morning, I mean it's like literally it's in the afternoon. But I just woke up, so yeah. Uh, where is this freaking here it is okay so okay we're, yeah, we're getting we're getting somewhere so we want to do something like this is basically what I'm trying to say is there one of these for PHP Nah, PHP is its own beast I could make a roll for it but I'm not gonna at least not right now okay okay we're getting we're starting to cook with some gasoline here this might be a long video um copy Configure PHP FPM. Okay, source, 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 source. Destination. Ansible assets. Let's rename this. PHP. This is a little annoying because there's actually another config for PHP FPM itself, and then a config for the PHP, and then a config for the workers. It's it's complicated. I think I actually talked about it in my uh, in my Nginx and chill video, but you know who cares? PHP, FP, now FPM, I and I. Okay, so and we want to copy this bad boy. That's what we're getting. We're getting somewhere. We're finally getting some progress here. And FPM, maybe. Yeah. PHP data. So let's just make sure that that is correct. CD. 
Yeah. Copy. Paste. It is definitely correct. We're definitely cooking with gasoline. All right. Don't cook with gasoline. That's probably a terrible idea. Now, it's probably easiest just to copy the file. But what if I tried to run the provisioner here? Ansible playbook. Inventory file is inventory. What if I tried to do this? Is everything going to blow up? No, nah, I didn't think. What's your problem? No, wait, okay. Main.yml. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's working. Dude, it's working, dude. Didn't doesn't it hasn't crapped the bed yet. It's all composer packages. Yeah, that'll take a little while because it's gotta run again at least to determine that everything is already installed. But it do be working. Install NPM packages. This one might take a little this might take a, a wee bit of time. All right, it worked. And now let's see if we have liftoff. So what was supposed to change? Because debug client host was supposed to change, didn't change. Okay. Okay, that's great, but that's fine. Remember, when you change configurations, what do you do? Pseudo system control. Um, PHP FPM. PHP 8.0 FPM. No, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, restart. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I got it backwards. Restart. PHP. Shut up. PHP 8.0 slash FPM. I was right. I just had the order backwards. If you should fucking shut up, dude. Okay. I am gonna. I'm just gonna hold the power button on this machine until it dies. Die. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. All right. Now. What? Okay, that was a different machine. Never one second. <laughs> Let's open up this machine. I don't get why you're making freaking noises. Wait, are you still alive? I killed you. I freaking held the power button until you died. Okay. Shut down, piece of garbage. Oh, I hate, hate it so much. Okay. Uh, where was I? Yeah, yeah, now you see me. Now you see me. What is the other one we said? Mode is debug. Where, the, where is that shit? This one? Yeah. Yeah, dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do it. And here. And remote debug. Validate. Validate, hey, look at that, all green. Bro. Bro, we, we in there. Okay, so, now how do you debug stuff? Well, first you probably should create the configuration. Um, uh, yes, okay. So you do that. Now, there's a few very annoying things here. So normally what you do Well, let me just show you. So, the way this normally happens, for some reason, I'm just I'm getting like a, a huge amount of gross phlegm or snot. You don't know why. Maybe it's the Rona. Maybe the Rona has finally caught up to me. All right, so where was I? I just killed, like, I killed all the laptops that are around me now. They're all dead. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> there is something that we need to trigger uh, X debug. So what I want to do, eh, where where am I at? So I would like to put a breakpoint here, and then I would like it to stop at this breakpoint. Let's just do like a variable. 
X is equal to, but. So. <clears throat> God damn it. What do we do? Well, if I restart this, if I reload here, you'll notice I do not hit any breakpoint. Okay. Why? Many reasons. There are many reasons why I don't hit a breakpoint. First reason, I'm not listening in my IDE. So of course it's not going to do anything. Let's try it again. Now we're listening. hi -yo. Nothing. Nothing happened. Why not? Well, you have to activate the, the, uh, the X-Debug thing. Uh, and there are many ways to activate it. In the configuration... Uh, let's go where... Where is X-Debug? <clears throat> Here it is. So in the configuration, you could... I don't know... I don't know where the setting is in the freaking new things. But there is a setting, probably in this here, where you can tell it to always start debugging. Anytime it activates. And sometimes you need that one because you just have no really other good way of setting it. IDE key. I probably want to set this. There's probably like a bunch of settings that I want to set, but that I'm not setting. I think I probably want to set the IDE key. Dot IDE key is equal to PHP storm. <clears throat> I'm just going to push this configuration as well. And then we restart PHP FPM. Let's see if we got our ID key in here now. Yeah, it says PHP Storm. That's cool. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, I remember. I want to start. I want to break here, but I'm not breaking here. I'm not breaking. So I need a way of telling P not PHP Storm X Debug to start. Uh, one way to tell it to start is to put put a query into your URL, and that will trigger. Uh, another way, and this is the way that we normally do it, is you put it in with a cookie in your request. Uh, and there is a nice little, uh, a little thingamajigger. Uh, XD bug <coughs> helper. Uh, Firefox. Let's try this. XD bug helper for Firefox. Yeah, that's the one. It looks exactly the same as the one I use for Chrome. So let's add it. Requires, yeah, to go for it, Doug. Allow this extension, sure. Where's my extension? Where, where do my extensions be? I don't know how to use Firefox. Ah, it's here, okay, cool. Well, then I don't want this anymore. Okay, done. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Debug. Okay, now if I restart this, it might hit this breakpoint, but it might not. It hit the freaking breakpoint, dudes. And here we can see, I can see my variables. Um, where's my stack trace? Is that this? Yeah, frames. Here we go. Here's the frames. Watches. I'm a variables. You get what I'm saying? This is what we want. Now, here's a problem. Here's a big problem. Medium sized problem. So, let's say I want to debug. Where is it at? API. Uh, where is one of my API things? What's it called? Pantrio? Pantrio controller? I should probably just do this. Pantrio controller. Okay. So let's say I want to debug this. Seems like a thing you might want to do. Uh, let's go here. The heck is this? Extensions. X debug helper. Debug. It is enabled. All right. Yeah. Okay. Restart. So I can't be treated. Okay. Well, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. 
Let's um, you sure about that order there, Chief? Go. Okay, we are listening. Port three thousand. It's doing things. I guess it's building it. There we go. So we loaded it. Did not hit the breakpoint. Breakpoint was never touched at any point in this process. That's disappointing. Why? Well, here's the thing. It's kind of annoying. So, our web server is at pancho.io, port 80. Our front end being served from here, port 3000. So the cookie does not go across. Those are two different domains or two different somethings anyways. And the cookie does not cross unless you do a bunch of stuff. And we're not doing that stuff right now. So we can't get our cookie across there just yet. Um, so what's a boy to do? Well, I mean, if we want to debug this, what we could do, let me just see here. So I'm going to go to my network. I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to preserve log here because I believe that there was a redirect happening. Yes. Okay. So here now I get the whole shebang. My initial request here has headers. Mm, response headers. Request headers. Uh, cookie. This is the cookie that I would like to set when I make my request. Wait. Xdebug session is equal to Xdebug eclipse. Bro, who's running Eclipse? Come on. Options. Yes. PHP Storm. Dude. I mean, come on. Okay. Now you better be correct or I'm gonna freaking kill somebody. Alright, someone's gonna die. Someone's dying. Alright, so I restarted Chrome. Let's see if the, uh, the, the plugin settings finally... Ah, okay, here we go. Now the plugin setting is correct. It is still not breaking on the breakpoint, again, not expecting it to. But I did want this. I wanted to make sure what the correct name of the cookie was. Copy this. So we can do a little test here, uh, make sure everything is cool. We Let's get rid of this, and we don't need this. So get rid of that again. All right. Now here is the important thing. Yeah, so we... Application JSON. Except JSON, same site lacks. I don't, this is probably not necessary. But in here, no, we don't want, oh, I shouldn't have deleted that. Header name, probably cookie. In here, value, xdebug session equals php storm. So, I, uh, I believe this, should enable us to hit our breakpoint here. There you go. And if we look here, yeah, okay. So, we have verified that if we pass the cookie in, we can hit our breakpoint in our API controller. That's not a problem. The problem is because our front end is running on a different, um, a different domain, different port number, the cookie is not going to be passed. Now, apparently, there is a way to pass the cookie. Um, it requires credentials to be passed on, uh, and that requires some settings on our cores, and it's annoying. So, depending on how we go ahead in the future, I might set that. I think, I think in order for me to be able to pass the cookies along, I believe I will need to implement authentication, which I plan to do in the future, so that shouldn't be an issue. But in the meanwhile, if I need to debug something on the API, I can just make a request directly from here and then debug it. So it's not a big, a huge deal. Although in the future, I would obviously like to be able to debug from working through the actual front-end interface, do something and make it hit here. So, that's, a, that's something that we'll address probably in the future, but for right now, we are at least able to debug things 
uh, by hitting them through this uh, this tool here, directly accessing the the API, bypassing the uh, the view Nuxt front end. But anyways, I might as well commit this to see if there's any conflicts. No conflicts. Okay, so what do we change here? I don't really think we need to keep this change. What else? Eh, yeah, we'll keep that open. Uh, might as well. It's nice to have PHP info in here, but I don't want this. Can I Can I just like delete that? I'll just do it in here. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Okay. Save that. Run this. Stage. Wait a minute. Why isn't it... Why isn't it remembering my... Uh, oh, right, because this is the stuff for the... F okay, I got it. There's there's two... There's two... Um, Git repositories. So, add... PHP info route. That'll go into here. And add fpm php configuration to our, our boy here. Might as well push that, I guess. What you asking about to do for this one, I guess? Uh, a little, you know, a little longer than I expected. A lot of uh, roadblocks coming in the way. It takes a lot longer when I'm doing this stuff, and I also got to explain all the crap. But uh, I thought it was, you know, a thing that. Uh, it's, not, it's something that's not documented that often online. There's a few places where you can get this information. But it's nice to see it in a video. See someone actually set this stuff up. And it is very, uh, very important and very useful to set this up. Especially as you get into more complicated development on the back end. You're going to want Xbug, Xdebug at your back. So, uh, next video, I'm going to talk. I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff that I was... I talked about at the beginning of this video, specifically going to set up the xdebug helper. Not xdebug, yeah, no, the PHP storm helper, the IDE helper. And uh, do a little bit of fixes here and there, some stuff that I uh, got mentioned to me in the comments. I'm going to fix that up. Well, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, it helps a lot. And I will see you soon with some more Pantryo.